Music Features at Montreux Jazz Festival 2015 präsentiert von Chip. Montreux Jazz Festival 2015 backstage with the shocking Miss Emeralds. Hello. Thank you very much for having us. You're welcome. How are you? Good. Yeah, it's great to be here. What a lovely place. Feels like a little holiday, actually. Yeah. <laughs> now we have the jazz artist and Montreux Jazz Festival. Um, how does it feel to play where Aretha Franklin, James Brown, Johnny Cash, Marvin Gaye, Miles Davis, B.B. King, where all those legends played? Yeah, that's, a, that's just a great honor. And to be a guest of George Benson tonight, that's also a great honor. It's just a lovely place. You know, I play around Europe on several jazz festivals and it's always a different vibe. You know, of course, it's my heritage as well. So, uh, and um, a lot of my examples are playing as well. So that feels just really good, yeah. What kinds are the spirits here? 
Um, it's really nice. It's actually very, very vibrant. It's a lot of energy. Um, I went to the festival last night to get a get a glimpse of yeah. or feel of what kind of audience there is, and a lot of young people, a lot of energy, a lot of yeah, it's kind of a, like a party feeling, but relaxed. So yeah. you have some time off your concert for. Sometimes I do, not all of the time, but this time I was really lucky to have a have a day off in Montreux. Yeah. yeah. Have you been to the Freddie Mercury Monumental? No, I no. I actually <laughs> just took my time and I would just sit at the swimming pool and just relax a bit. Yeah, yeah. because the day before we were in, in Finland, mm -hmm. we had a really, really tough day of traveling. So we just needed to relax and not it's do It's not it. always like having a day off no, in no, Montreux. No, no, no. no, it can be tough. Yeah. <laughs> But now you're pretty much relaxed. Yeah, now I'm really relaxed. Yeah, so it's going to be a lovely show. Perfect. To your music, of course, there was um, deleted scenes from the cutting room floor with yeah. a hit single, A Night Like This. Then there was the shocking Miss Emerald. And then you cancelled your UK tour because you're a mom now. Yeah. How yeah. much changed that, your life as an artist? Not too much. But, um, you know, to, to be able to understand that, I guess that you should know that in the very beginning, when you start up as an artist, you have to do a lot. Yeah. You know, you have to do basically everything. So your schedule is terrible and it's hard to say no. But now I've come to a point where I can choose more what to do and what not to do. And I, I choose, yeah, the most important things. And of course there is touring and that is sometimes hard, of course. But then again, there are moms that are away all the time because they have like a nine to five job, but somewhere away. So they have to travel for, well, let's say two hours every morning. They don't see their kids as much as I do. so. I guess there's a benefit to it as well. And the rest of it, it, does, it, it doesn't feel like anything changed. It feels so natural to me. Yeah, and I, I really love it. That's a nice point. So you have grown as an artist. You have two records out. You, have, you know what it's good for you. You can't say no to things that you yeah. exactly know that it's... It's something I had to learn, and I think all artists need to learn that. But um, yes, I can, and it feels really good. That yeah. sounds nice. How about songwriting? Is yeah. there not a time where you have, please, kids, give me some rest oh. just to write my songs? Yeah, that is quite, quite hard. It was hard already before, because for songwriting, I need rest. I can't, for instance, some, some artists, they, they like songwriting while they're on tour. Not me. For some reason, they, they don't go together for me. You know, I need to be in a different mode when I'm in the studio. So I need sp a specific time scheduled for that. So, um, so I do that just as before. Nothing changed there, no. You'd studied jazz back then in Amsterdam, yeah. which is also a very vibrant and musical city, isn't it? Amsterdam, yes, it is. Very yeah. international recognized. Yeah. Well, I d I'm not sure if the music is internationally recognized. Well, some are, you know, like Candy Dolfer, for instance. Yeah, of course. And, and, but there is a, a very lively jazz scene in Amsterdam. Yeah, it's really nice. You can, there's several places that you can go and they have real good jazz musicians. Yeah. What about Switzerland or the audience here? Are there any expectations when you go out on stage here in Switzerland, like the crowd is... Yeah, it's hard sometimes to... Um, Uh, to paint a portrait of like the Swiss audience because it can be so different and I find at least that's what I think is that each each part of Switzerland is a little bit different as well because I've been to the Italian part of Switzerland I've been to the German part and this is the first time in the French part mm -hmm. so I'm not, I'm not sure whether that that gives a difference to I don't know the mentality or the culture of the people so maybe also to the audience mm -hmm. but most of all I see in I see a lot of diversity in, in Switzerland, uh, lots of young people as well, and I just, I just ex I'm just expecting a, p a small party tonight, yeah. Enjoy your show here at Mondre Jazz Festival, yeah. a very legendary festival. Looking forward to your show. Thank you very much, Caro Emerald. Thank you. And could you say your full name into the camera for ah. as last sentence? This sounds like <laughs> heaven. <laughs> Not in Dutch, but my full name is Caroline Esmeralda van der Leeuw. Thank you very much. Good show. Thank you, Carlo. Thank you. <laughs>
Music Features at Montreux Jazz Festival 2015 präsentiert von Jeep.